and here's a first look inside now uh, the silver plate you can see would normally have the Wolverine control board sitting on it and the board to the right is the power supply and that power supply is delivering 12 volts to the take-up motor and then 5 volts to the control board where the camera is mounted. And this is the Hawkeye board and the three switches are for start, stop, speed um, and I think LED on and off, something like that. I've only got the start and stop connected and I run at one frames per second. Uh, this is the sensor that I bought from Imaging Source with the lens holder. I think the sensor was about £80, the lens and the lens holder £40, £50, something like that. Uh, and there's the lens mounted on the sensor board ready to go on to the mod board. And there we can see the, the camera fitted through the, the board ready to face the gate to capture one frame a second uh, into an uh, image sequence. That's the control board for the Hawkeye fitted. It takes its power from the power supply that's already there. Uh, needless to say I've disconnected the take up because we all know my thoughts on the take up motor on the Wolverine scanner with or without a Hawkeye. It's a piece of junk. And that's it fitted, ready to go. And it's really easy, one board out, one board in, a few wires, uh, the fan connector becomes the power supply and then the fan takes its uh, power supply from the new board. And the camera itself connects to a laptop which in turn runs IC capture and all the capturing is done by the host computer as opposed to the original Wolverine where it captures and compiles that horrible MP4 straight onto a memory card. It's much better than the original uh, Wolverine scanner, but it is painfully slow. I mean, the original Wolverine does two frames per second, so a 50-foot reel of film is going to take 35 minutes. 50-foot reel on Hawkeye takes just over an hour, so it is much slower, uh, but the results are much nicer. <laughs>